Is your heart in good shape or could it be in trouble? Today I'm going to share with you the key signs that your body may be giving you to indicate that your heart isn't functioning at 100%. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, so it's crucial to be aware of these signals. Keep watching because this video will break down the visible signs that something might be wrong with your heart. This includes both unknown as well as classic symptoms you might feel if your heart isn't doing well. Symptoms that you or a loved one might be experiencing without even realizing their significance. It's going to be an in-depth and informative video, so stick with me until the end and I guarantee you'll learn something new. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video. The more likes it gets, the more YouTube will show it to others who might not have easy access to medical care. And please share this video with your friends and family because it has the potential to help save lives. Now, let me ask you, do you have a heart condition? Or are you concerned that you might? Let me know your experiences in the comments below. All right, now let's dive into the physical signs that you should be on the lookout for that could indicate a problem with your heart. Number one, diagonal earlobe crease. A diagonal earlobe crease, also known as Frank's sign, is a physical indicator that may be linked to cardiovascular problems, particularly blockages in the coronary or carotid arteries. The crease appears as a distinct diagonal line on the earlobe and was first observed by Dr. Sanders Frank in the 1970s. While not everyone with this crease has heart disease, it can be an important sign, especially in younger individuals under the age of 60. Research suggests the connection between this crease and atherosclerosis, as both may stem from similar factors affecting the artery's health and elasticity. Number 2. Hair Loss on the Legs Hair loss on the legs, particularly on the shins and thighs, can be an indication of peripheral arterial disease, which occurs when the artery supplying blood to the legs becomes narrowed or blocked due to a buildup of fatty plaque. This reduced blood flow prevents hair follicles from receiving the necessary nutrients and oxygen, leading to hair loss. Additionally, people with PAD may notice other signs like smooth, shiny skin, cold feet, and reduced nail growth. While hair loss can also be caused by factors such as aging or friction, its presence alongside these symptoms warrants further investigation into cardiovascular health. Number 3. Yellow Eyelid Deposits Yellow eyelid deposits, known as xanthelasma, are cholesterol-filled plaques that develop on the upper or lower eyelids, particularly near the inner corner of the eye. While generally harmless and mostly a cosmetic concern, their presence can signal underlying high cholesterol or triglyceride levels, both of which increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Approximately 50% of individuals with xanthelasma have elevated cholesterol, and the deposits are more common in middle-aged individuals, particularly women. Though only a small percentage of people with high cholesterol develop xanthelasma, its presence should prompt a blood test to assess lipid levels and cardiovascular health. Number 4. Senile Arc A senile arc, also known as Arcus senilis, appears as a white or gray ring around the edge of the cornea typically visible above or below the outer part of the eye. This arc forms due to cholesterol deposits, especially in older individuals. While it is often considered a normal part of aging and generally doesn't affect vision, it can be a warning sign of high cholesterol when seen in individuals under 45. In younger people, it may indicate an elevated risk of cardiovascular disease due to dyslipidemia, signaling that cholesterol levels should be checked and managed accordingly. Number 5. Bluish or Purple Skin Bluish or purple skin, known as cyanosis, occurs when there is a lack of oxygen in the blood, causing the skin to take on a bluish hue. This can be a sign of serious heart or lung problems such as heart failure, blocked arteries, or congenital heart defects. Cyanosis can appear in areas like the lips, fingers, toes, or other extremities, indicating that oxygenated blood is not reaching certain parts of the body. If the condition occurs when the individual is not cold or under physical stress, it may be a signal of an underlying cardiovascular or respiratory issue requiring immediate attention. Number 6. Ulcers on the legs or feet Non-healing ulcers on the legs or feet can be a sign of poor circulation, often caused by peripheral arterial disease. When the arteries that supply blood to the legs and feet become blocked, the tissues do not receive enough oxygen and nutrients making it difficult for wounds to heal. These arterial ulcers usually occur on the outside of the leg, heels, or toes, and are often painful though in cases of nerve damage, such as diabetic neuropathy, pain may not be felt. 
These ulcers can be a serious indication of advanced cardiovascular disease and require prompt medical attention. Number seven, swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet. Swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet, also known as edema, is a common sign of heart failure. When the heart is weak or enlarged, it cannot effectively pump blood, causing fluid to accumulate in the lower extremities due to gravity. This swelling may make shoes feel tighter or cause puffiness in the ankles, particularly by the end of the day. The condition can worsen when standing for long periods and may improve when lying down or elevating the legs. Edema in the lower body can also be associated with other cardiovascular problems such as vein disease or poor circulation. Number 8. Clubbing of the Fingers Clubbing of the fingers is a condition in which the tips of the fingers enlarge and the nails curve downward. This physical change is often linked to chronic low oxygen levels in the blood and can be a sign of underlying heart or lung diseases. Cardiovascular conditions such as congenital heart defects or endocarditis can lead to clubbing due to inadequate oxygenation of the tissues. The condition typically develops gradually and may be accompanied by other symptoms of heart or respiratory issues. While not harmful on its own, clubbing is a significant indicator of potential heart or lung problems that need further investigation. Number 9. Shortness of Breath Shortness of breath, also known as dyspnea, is a common sign of heart problems, particularly when it occurs with minimal exertion or while at rest. It can indicate that the heart is struggling to pump enough blood to meet the body's oxygen needs. This symptom is often associated with heart failure, coronary artery disease, or valvular heart disease. People may experience difficulty breathing when lying down, known as orthopnea, or wake up suddenly at night gasping for air. If shortness of breath persists or worsens, it is important to seek medical attention as it can signal serious cardiovascular issues. Number 10. Pale or grayish skin tone A pale or grayish skin tone can be an indication of poor blood circulation, often linked to heart conditions such as heart failure or shock. When the heart is unable to pump blood efficiently, the body redirects blood from less critical areas, like the skin, to vital organs, causing the skin to lose its normal color. This pallor may be most noticeable in the face, lips, or extremities. In severe cases, it can be a sign of reduced oxygen levels or anemia, both of which are closely associated with cardiovascular problems. If accompanied by other symptoms, immediate medical evaluation is necessary. Number 11. Jugular vein distension. Jugular vein distension is the visible swelling or bulging of the jugular veins in the neck, which can be a sign of heart failure or other cardiovascular issues. JVD occurs when the heart is unable to efficiently pump blood, causing a backup of blood into the veins that return blood to the heart, including the jugular veins. This is especially noticeable when a person is lying down or sitting at a slight incline. JVD is commonly associated with conditions such as right-sided heart failure, pulmonary hypertension, or fluid overload, and warrants further medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause. Number 12. Excessive Sweating Excessive sweating, particularly when it occurs unexpectedly or without obvious cause, can be a sign of cardiovascular problems such as a heart attack. When the heart is under strain, it activates the body's stress response causing a sudden surge of adrenaline that can result in heavy sweating. This type of sweating, often described as cold or clammy, may occur alongside other symptoms like chest pain, dizziness, or nausea. Even without pain, excessive sweating during periods of rest or mild activity should be taken seriously, especially in individuals with risk factors for heart disease and prompt medical attention is advised. Number 13. Unexplained Weight Gain Unexplained weight gain, particularly when it occurs over a short period, can be a sign of fluid retention due to heart failure. When the heart is unable to pump blood effectively, fluid can build up in the body, leading to swelling in the legs, ankles, abdomen, and other areas. This condition, known as edema, contributes to rapid weight gain and can also cause discomfort or difficulty breathing. The sudden increase in weight is typically not related to fat accumulation, but rather to fluid overload which can place additional strain on the heart and require immediate medical attention to prevent further complications. But, as previously mentioned, recognizing the physical signs of heart problems can be life-saving. While some of these signs may seem minor or unrelated, they can offer critical clues about the health of your heart. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's important not to ignore them. 
Early detection and proactive care can make a significant difference in managing heart health and preventing serious cardiovascular events. Pay attention to your body's signals and don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional if you suspect something might be wrong with your heart. Prevention and early intervention are key to maintaining a healthy heart. But real quick, be sure to watch some of our other helpful videos that are popping up on your screen right about now. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.